Cookie Swirl C. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Cookie Swirl C. We're gonna create something sweet today. Springtime is here and these sweet peeps need a very sugary sweet place to live. Like a peeps cookie coop. <laughs> Now, I do have to say, I did buy this set a very, very long time ago. So it's close to its expiration date. Hopefully the icing is still good. If not, it might be a fail. Let's find out. Oh, that looks like a barnyard of fun. Ooh, yeah, you guys, the icing looks a bit old. So even though this is an edible gingerbread house, I think I'm just gonna make it just for decoration only. Looks like the icing has kind of separated. More than kinda. We'll just mix it up. This is so strange. Usually, whenever I work on a gingerbread house kit that's a little close to expiration, normally the icing gets really hard and dries out but this actually feels like it got softer. This is gonna be great. Here are the peeps. Now we normally know how soft a marshmallowy peeps is. These are very, very hard. And I probably bought this set last Easter. What, why did it take you so long to build it? I'm sorry, I've been busy gaming. But I am filming this on Easter, so technically it hasn't expired yet. It's still March. It's still March as of right now today. But when the video goes up, it's going to be April. All right, let's just get building. So let's look at our cookie pieces in this box. I see lots of chickens and a rooster. Ooh, the cookie pieces are nice and soft. They also have these round pieces. I'm not really sure what those are. Are they supposed to be eggs? It does look like there's eggs in the coop, but those look like little candy eggs instead of cookie eggs. Oh, I see. Okay, the instruction says they're gonna make up the coop ramp. Why do we have to measure something? We have to measure the cookies? So now we got our ramp legs, wood cookie pieces, a roof, and some other coop pieces. These are all the pieces. Oh, it even comes with yellow icing and candies. First, I'm going to make little sandwich cookies. Okay, it looks good. Gonna let those dry. Now I'm gonna flip over the platform piece, add icing, and then just stick on the little cookie legs. That icing is really wet. I need to let it dry for five to 10 minutes. All right, it's had time to dry and it's still looking a little soft, but we're just gonna continue on. Time to ice the edges and put the coop together. All right, I gotta flip the base platform the right side up now. Hopefully the legs don't fall off. We're good. It's good. Okay, the icing's a little chunky. Oh, let me ice both sides. Then it can stand up. Okay, got it to stay. I need to give that 10 to 15 minutes to dry and hopefully it does not fall apart. All right, after a little drying time, now it's time to apply the roof. I'm scared to move it. I'm so scared. Okay, here we, oh no, 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 no. It's not completely dry yet. I can feel it. I can feel the walls moving. All right, I'll just have to ice it from right here. Wait, maybe I should place it on the platform first. I have to move it. Oh, it's gonna fall apart. I know it is. I added a thick layer of icing. Now I have to move it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It looks good. Now it's time for the roof. Ah, oh, it almost fell. One of the cookie leg base broke. Okay, I did it. <laughs> I did it, it's on. I just have to let it dry now. Add just a little bit more icing. All right, it's been drying. I hope nothing falls apart, but you never know. I do have to move it. Now we gotta turn it all the way around. I'm scared to touch it. Here I go. I did it, I moved it. Okay, now we've got the chicken coop ready to go. Put a little icing down for the ramp. Now I just have to decorate the inside. I've got the yellow icing. I love on the box how they have like a little ledge for the chickens to sit on, but those eggs, I think they made those eggs out of icing. Maybe the white icing, but my icing is way too runny for that to happen. But I'll put in the ledge. Oh, it looks like mustard. Do some little decorative details with the icing. Decorate with some flower candies. That's so cute with the flowers. Now I'm gonna decorate the hens. <gasps> keeps falling. Oh no, the yellow. No, no, no. The icing is very drippy. Note to self, I shouldn't have used the white icing. I should have kept it all with the yellow. I think it dried a lot faster. Okay, this is the expectation and this is the reality. I know they ice their chicks with the white, but I don't think I can use the icing that is white to do the piping like that, but I'll try. Ooh, is it working? Is it working? Oh no, no, no. It's a fail. It's a fail. No. Ooh, yeah. That chicken definitely got iced. The chicken coop looks really cute, actually. Okay, the chickens have a lot of icing on them, but the little rainbow flower sprinkles just like so cute. It's adorable. I'm gonna take the jelly beans because these are the eggs. So I'm gonna place them in the coop. This is the coop for the peeps, so I'm gonna break these apart. It actually looks really cute. I'm impressed. So expectations versus reality, I think a success because it looks so delicious. That's why it's a win. Happy spring. Bye, cookies.